Brandon. Sir. So we are not a wrestling podcast, but we talk about wrestling all the time. With that in mind, have you heard of soft ground wrestling out of Uganda? Yes. Oh yes, my God. Yes, I have. Oh my God. I, I just came across them on one of my feeds. For, for people who have not heard of soft ground wrestling, Brandon, can you explain the, the majesty that we are witnessing? Okay, so um, I'm bringing it up now uh, just so, so I don't get any of this wrong. So this was something that basically took off like crazy online called Soft Ground Wrestling or SGW. And part of the problem with SGW is I believe there's quite a few other Fed stateside that have that name. Oh, I see. <laughs> so... It can get a little convoluted here. Um, oh, of course, that's right. I forgot. I can't just look at something on Twitter. I have to fucking sign into it. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so there is a a basically a Fed that doesn't have a ring and just are kind of fans who are trying to make it in the wrestling industry. And what they have is soft ground. They They dug the ground up to be able to create a relatively forgiving surface for them to do pro wrestling on. And they're downright impressive, honestly, especially for, to my understanding, all of them being self-trained by just watching a ton of shit online. Um, Now, my understanding is that uh, there have been quite a few um, AEW and TNA stars that have donated to them to help them buy a ring. Oh, um, wow. Quite a few people have come through. Yeah, apparently there's a GoFundMe campaign to support the wrestling endeavors. Um, let's see. Uh, so they were trying to raise $10,000. Um, but, 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 there's a, a person named Bumbash uh, Daniel, uh, the owner of the organization and channel, emphasized that SGW is more than just a wrestling promotion. This is a quote from uh, an article on SE Scoops. Um Let's see, more just wrestling promotion. It's also a community hub for the people of Uganda using professional wrestling as a means to unite people together, which can be what happens when wrestling is is rad. Um, some of the yeah. people in there, uh, notably Will Ospreay, uh, who was formerly with New Japan, just signed with yeah. AEW, one of the top stars, and uh, one of the standouts uh, from the Women's Royal Rumble, um, Impact star Jordan Grace, were uh took notice of them and started really spreading the word of them and both of them supported so um, oh, that's so cool right and the idea that you know will osprey's i think got i don't know a couple million followers on on twitter so like when that dude reposts your wrestling stuff with the caption of so cool you're getting a yeah. nod from like one of the fucking main guys like uh yeah to give an idea for anyone who has looked um Osprey was one of the two that had that ridiculous superhero level uh, match with Ricochet where they did the way they both did the Spider-Man landing. Yeah. Yes. That's him. Yes. Yes. So that's one of the guys who's giving you the nod. Yeah. You're doing pretty all right. I'm, I'm watching clips right now in the background of these two guys. I guess they're doing a hardcore match because they're throwing each other into an ambulance, like in the side of an ambulance. <laughs> And instead of their regular mud ring, they're just dropping each other on the grass. And the thing, the thing that I absolutely love about this is that they've escalated so quickly. Oh, yes, like, they have. The idea that you went from before we even got like, and this is the most backyard wrestling bullshit that <laughs> is really shows how great and. <laughs> Also, I was going to say and or, but it really just is and also dumb pro uh-huh. wrestling makes you in your decision making tree that you created a semi safe environment and then immediately went, cool. Now that we know this works, let's fucking throw each other into some vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. And they have him up on a gurney and he's just like hitting him and stuff right, and then putting right. him in the it's back like, of the ambulance. I, yes. I. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> It also reminds me that we as wrestling fans are very, very spoiled. Um, yeah. Because this definitely brings into perspective. You can go pretty much to 
I'm trying to think of anywhere where there really isn't this, but like to my understanding, there is some sort of smaller wrestling federation in every corner of the country within reasonably hour and a half drive from your front door where you can see people while some of them are more professional professional than others Mm -hmm. making a fucking effort to give you some good old fashioned wrestling related entertainment for a fair price. Oh yeah. And good on them for wanting to put their bodies on the line just to get your hoots, hollers, cheers and applaud. Like that's, they love getting a rise out of people. They love, and they do it for nothing. Most of these wrestlers will drive hours and make 25 bucks and then go back bloodshot eyes to their regular nine to five job and then do the whole thing over again every weekend i think i think subconsciously that's why i I love like meeting wrestlers and stuff because it it feels very similar not the physicality but it feels very similar to like being an indie indie artist or an illustrator like you will you will draw for hours on end for like maybe a minute's worth of someone's attention. Well, you, we all, I think, <sighs> dumb, dumb performers, and me stepping back into doing art fight stuff, you doing the independent comic stuff, our friends uh, being pro wrestlers, me now having more of an insight into the indie wrestling scene and getting a chance to hang out with them. We all got the same stupid fucking <laughs> brain disease yeah. that causes <laughs> us to just put our shit on the line to get just that monicum of attention. The funny thing is, is most of us aren't traditionally narcissists and we're not exactly performers in a traditional sense. Like we, we did not in most cases seek out because like, I'd argue that there's a real difference in between somebody who's striving to be a rock star and somebody who is a pro wrestler in the, like they both got drive, but one of them is way more fucking committed for way less. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, and I pay no disrespect to the bands and the members of the bands who ride in the fucking, the vans and have losers lunch and, you know, the, the bologna on hand sandwich and, and, and are really like trying to fucking make it good on you. It's a fucking thankless job. But like, we all seem to have that weird, dumb uh, thing where it was like, Okay, yeah, I, you walk off and like anytime we walk into a convention or something like that and you see people that recognize us and they're like, yo, and they yeah. may not know our name. They know these faces, me and you, we go walking around somewhere. They know exactly who the fuck we are. Like yeah. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a little nod there. There's a smile. We get treated a little differently when we walk up to a table. Somebody realizes who we are and goes, oh shit, I saw you at yada yada or your art's fucking rad. And you get that like, thanks man, appreciate you. And like, you you almost get to have that like, okay, the effort that I'm making is at least getting noticed. It, 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 yeah, it, the definition yeah. of the internet in real life. Yeah. I um, don't care about getting, that's not true. I, I, I don't care one one hundredths the amount of hey, that's cool seeing you do something in person than I do posting a photo and seeing a bunch of likes for it. Mm-hmm. Don't care. Like, the the photo, great. Cool, fine. That That's neat. It's not the fucking same as somebody walk up and going, oh, I saw you at so-and-so. Or seeing somebody walk up to you, Jamie, at a table and start fucking geeking out over your shit. Yeah. Or you find out that they've been a secret reader forever and they followed your shit and they start giving you a hard time at your comic or something like that. Like, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, it, it feels, it feels good. Uh, it feels, it feels good. Like, I I can't, there's nothing wrong with that. It feels good that, like, your, your effort means something to somebody. Um, for, for comic artists, we, we hardly see it because we're, you know, chained up in our rooms and stuff. Um, but, you know, it's, it's cool to, 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 like, I, I always empathize with the wrestlers when they're, when they're, doing the long schedules or like trying to come up or like if, if somebody gets injured, it's always sad. Cause you know, like they ain't got health insurance. They got nope. nobody to like fall back on. Like they, they're, it's yeah. They're, they, they're, they have to work it out. Yeah. And that, so, I think that's also part of the thing that I admire about them is yeah. there is a very real lack of safety net for yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. And there's the part of my brain that goes, what are you doing 
get a fucking safety net. You're smarter than this. And then there's the other part of my brain that goes, only way you're going to figure this out is if you just leap off of this cliff. It's the only way you're going to fly. It it, like, there's, there's no option. You have to just, you know, it's, it's the, is it good parenting to chuck a five-year-old into the pool? (laughs) Maybe not. I mean, I'm willing to climb in if they're really drowning, but otherwise they're going to learn to swim. And when they get back out and they start to give you a hard time, you fucking grab them by the trunks and huck them back in. Yeah. I, I think, um, fortunately there, I think there are enough conventions on the convention circuit that like, even, even if they don't quite make it like to the top, there's still a possibility of ancillary income at some of you, these places. Yeah. I, I think you can make a living figuring out either your niche or finding some sort of partnership or just doing the grind because you can't bring yourself to do that office job or whatever yeah. it is. And like, it may not be the most glamorous life. It might not be what you had envisioned it might especially not be what your parents had envisioned for you but then again a lot of them at least when relatable to us they could buy a house for a wink and a smile so fuck it like there was no way we were were gonna fucking make them proud so i'm gonna go make the thing and (laughs) yeah okay all all this to say everyone should definitely check out sgw soft ground wrestling they got a youtube channel their Twitter, uh, their Twitter feed has highlights from all the matches. Yeah, shit is popping off. Like, I I would not be surprised to see some of their members make it to like some of these other federations that we see here. I just uh, it just yeah. shows like if you want to make something happen, you don't have to wait for a motherfucker. Don't like, you don't more importantly don't wait. Yeah, don't like, find a reason not to do a thing. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Don't you gotta, don't get you, lost on if you want to create a YouTube show, if yeah. you want to do a podcast and be one of the millions of podcasters Her for whatever millions. For, for whatever reason you want to make the thing, don't let all of the technology or anything don't let it stop you. Yeah. Do the thing yeah. and do it to the best of your ability and then buy the new shit when you can buy the new shit. But yeah. stop insisting that you have to create this vision of and boy howdy i wish a certain somebody was hearing this i please stop (laughs) keeping your creative your creativity and your mind from the world because you have a vision of what you want ultimately and you don't get it today I, I want to know who this is. We'll talk about it offline. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> I want to know who the fuck this is. But uh, like, I, I, th- th- and there's probably a lot of people in both of our social circles who could really fucking use that lesson of if you actually genuinely want this thing, not just yeah. it's a passing thing that you kind of like to do or whatever. It, like, it, I'm, I am chock full of passing things that I kind of want to do. There's nothing right now that fucking lights my fire enough to drop a bunch of other shit and just absolutely chase after it. <laughs> That's my choice. But if you actually have a thing, either stop telling people you got all these great ideas and pitching shit or fucking do the thing. Uh-oh. Fire there's, department? There's a, yeah, there's an ambulance somewhere, but... Okay. Uh, we're good. Brandon, uh, yeah. tell these motherfuckers who we are. You know what, Jamie? (laughs) I will. Welcome, one and all, to the greatest podcast in the known universe. That's right. I'm going to fucking steal it. I'm co-opting it. It's ours now, motherfucker. Because they seeded the ground. I'm going to fucking Anakin the shit out of this. I have the high ground. I got the low ground. All right? The, the, The... do you understand that we are the fucking do a cast part of the hard knock media podcasting network now when i say hard knock media i mean noc is a nerds of color i mean that i am the anakin to my better half all right my my master that teaches me everything that is cool in the world my obi-wan kenobi is jamie motherfucking noguchi all right do you understand all right, he's uh, got to wear baggy clothes because he has the biggest cock I've ever seen. All right, like uncomfortable. 
can't run. It's like, honestly, it's it's like trying to tie a baloney around your waist and then run in a 40 yard dash. It's fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Got to just turn and kick that thing down when he's trying to do to do some laps. Anyway, I'm fucking uh, exhausted. I, I have such a goddamn migraine. Um, oh, no, <laughs> that's all right. No, no, no. <laughs> you're all right. Let's 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 power through this motherfucker. Uh, Brandon, what have you been geeking on? Uh, what have I been geeking on? What have I been geeking on? I mean, we've been doing a lot of Destiny. Um, oh, you know what? Something very fun that I have been watching, uh, and I'm just about uh, halfway through the second season of it, and to my understanding, there are only two seasons. There's a Netflix show, it's an animated show called Inside Job. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a tongue-in-cheek look at the deep state, and the idea is essentially <laughs> that that <laughs> the like cryptids are real um the the earth is hollow lizard people are real mole people are real everything else like that and Fantastic. there is and there is a a the incognito way of life is actually run by cognito inc oh my god and like the, their their rival uh corporation is actually the illuminati who are staffed by uh, Oprah, Jay Z, Beyonce, <laughs> and Lin Manuel Miranda. Oh God! Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh God! Like, it's fucking hilarious. It, it's very like self aware. It takes a ton of fucking really like it, it, uncomfortable jokes in the weirdest way when when the flat earthers get talked into a bad idea and end up uh, taking over a yacht. Or sorry, a mega yacht to go try and find the edge of the earth. And they're oh, like, no. do you understand that the the earth isn't flat? Okay. It's hollow. It's full of mole people. It's full of the sea serpents that you saw on the thing. And the guy's like, look, I'm not an idiot. Okay. I know a few things about a few things. And I know like, about the world. <laughs> when they're finally being honest with him about how ridiculous the world actually is, he's like, fucking like holds a gun up to somebody's head. And is like, take me to the edge of the fucking earth. And it's like, fine. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it, it's it's very fun. Christian Slater plays one of the uh, plays the dad who's a total shithead. Um, the the whole story is um, protagonist driven uh, by a female character, which is really neat. Like, it just tells a very different the the ancillary side cast is very diverse. Um, they they make a joke essentially. The one guy who ends up getting hired. Uh, is the dopey white guy who is way too good looking and has like ripped abs and everything else like that, but is dumb as shit and has no idea why he got hired. <laughs> yeah, it, that's awesome. Yeah, and and the uh, the voice cast is like a who's who, and it's just it's very very well done. And because it's in a a small sort of thing, I think it's going to be one of these things that uh, much like Archer and stuff like that, where. I'm going to watch all of it and then I won't touch it for six, eight months. And then I'll throw it on the background and be chuckling at it again and again. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 So inside job on Netflix kids. So be sure to check that out. Jamie and Gucci, what have you been geeking on? I wish we were sponsored. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> get that Netflix money, get that Netflix money, baby. Um, so randomly I started making procreate brushes. Um, yes. Because I, so um i forget what weekend it was it was like a four-day weekend we went away to like some cabin uh in virginia somewhere with a bunch of other friends and i had brought my stuff to work on well at least i thought i did i brought my laptop i brought my uh drawing tablet and i forgot the cords that attached the the tablet <laughs> to the computer because whatever yeah. um and so Audrey had her iPad with her and I was curious about the brush situation in Procreate. So um, when I ink my comics, I ink them with alias lines. So if you zoom in, you'll see the jaggies. There's pixelated. Um, okay. When you turn on anti-aliasing, the program tries to make it look smooth. So when you zoom in, instead of jagged black lines, you'll see um shades of gray which are really transparent different levels of transparency okay to, to make the line look smooth okay the 
which is fine if you're just doing stuff for the web. Nobody notices. If hey. you are printing stuff out and you're printing anti-alias line art, um, you'll see a little bit of a fuzz around it. And it, okay. it's, it's only noticeable if you're a dickhead. Like if you're Joe Schmo, average person looking at a thing, you're not going to notice. So I, I realize this is a very niche thing to give a shit about. Um, <gasps> can, can I throw a flag on the play here? Yeah. I, I think the more educated creators are on the things that might not necessarily matter, but will elevate their game in both industry understanding. So this way somebody can't be an elitist shithead to them in a conversation. <laughs> And also just a active choice of that that perfect versus done. And if this is something simple that you can do to make your stuff just a little fucking tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Well, that's that's the thing about Procreate. So every digital art program that I use professionally, Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, which are the only two that I actually use, there's an option in the brush settings to turn off aliasing or turn off anti-aliasing to to turn off that um the, smoothing the, stuff okay gotcha and when you print those lines out they look so crisp and when you reduce those lines for web they look a little bit more crisp now everybody has a different kind of monitor and all this other kind of stuff and all that good shit so but to my eye it looks a little bit sharper it's not necessary it's a it's a it's a feature that i like it's how i work and so i wanted to see if procreate had a similar feature it does not built in like you can't take a normal brush from procreate and turn off the anti-aliasing effect Interesting. what you see is what you get okay but you can create your own brushes and you can start with an an alias um silhouette so i figured out how to do it with like a basic round brush um and then i wanted to see how far i could push this and see like what other brushes i could create because like you know one of the things that people in the digital art space talk about when it comes to like oh different ways you can make money you can make your own brush presets and all this other stuff and i'm like i could but i mean i just use everybody else's stuff or right the basic brush right like, right right i i use the basic brush for all of my inking because um, I don't want to learn how pro uh, how how Clip Studio does its stuff, but also like I feel like spending too much time with the brushes is focusing on the wrong thing. I should be focusing on getting these stupid pages out. Um, I say this, and and then like you know, I follow a guy who was hired by Adobe to work on brushes for them because their default brushes sucked ass, and he was like, these brushes suck ass, so I'm gonna make <laughs> my own, and he built his entire <laughs> career around that. Um. But anyway, yeah, like I, I, I never thought I would give a shit about it. But now um, I wanted to be able to, if I needed to, work on the iPad in Procreate using creating lines that I do on my on Clip Studio Paint um, with the alias brush. Um, so I was messing around with it over the vacation. And it, it's, there's a lot of options that say words that don't make any sense <laughs> it's a lot of turn this on turn this on slide this over slide that off okay so slide it's, this it's, on, slide it's that. just a terrible amount of, of trial and error yeah because because the words describe a thing that you think means something but it doesn't mean what you think it means so <laughs> wait are you telling me that even in the art world <laughs> words don't actually mean things is that yeah now it could be that I am an idiot because I haven't I haven't looked at the documentation that would possibly explain these things, um, and I haven't watched any tutorial on a how that would explain these options. But I always, you know, turn the shit on or off and on and off. <laughs> Jamie, <clears throat> hang on, let me fix that. Time Magazine's own Jamie Noguchi. <laughs> I I refuse to believe that you're an idiot, and I I I think it's the program that's wrong. I yeah, I mean they know what it means. So somebody sure somebody great. knows what it means. Yeah, I I, I get that. That's fine. <laughs> but like we're we're now getting into the nitty gritty, and like that means that your average trained professional 
self-publishing Time Magazine's own artist has trouble navigating your art program. Yeah. I got to believe that maybe you might just be making some shit a little harder just to gatekeep some motherfuckers. Just just a thought. It's it's possible. Um but I figured out how to make brushes that they don't do exactly what I need them to do, but it's close enough. It's never going to be a one-to-one experience because um the Apple Pencil and the the Huion pens they draw differently. Like this has, oh, yeah. this has no give to it. Like there's no spring loaded in anything on the tip. So it's just, it's like, have you considered, the is there replacement tips that are softer that you can, there, there are tips that are softer, but they, they don't, they all suck. I've ah. tried them all. Okay. They all gotcha. Fucking. I don't care what the advertising says. Gotcha. Even okay. if they paid me as a sponsor and said, Hey, we'll give you this. We'll give this to you. If you do a video on it, I will do a video on it and I will make, fun of your shitty tips because none of them work that is not actually true (laughs) and jamie noguchi is willing to accept your money (laughs) so long as you're very clear about what you're looking for yeah we will come right up to the edge (laughs) of what you're looking for yeah i i will i will make a video about your product and i will tell the people yeah but fair i will tell the people what i think about the product and 10 out of 10 they all suck um (laughs) These are cheap as shit, but they have they're spring loaded, so there's a little bit of give, so it it feels pretty close to actually using a brush or a, a an ink nib. Um, so I prefer using these over the Apple Pencil. So the feel is never going to be one to one, but I got gotcha. the 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 technical aspect of the brushes to work pretty well. Um, I made a couple with like different levels of bleed, like mm-hmm. when you ink with. Um, ink on paper as you draw a line sometimes it bleeds out a little bit and i like that look that kind of chunkiness to get rid of the digital look to you know okay sometimes sometimes shit when you draw on the computer looks too smooth yeah i like a little bit of grit in my lines so i made a couple of brushes that do that i made some rake brushes that have like a a texture to them and like you could do parallel lines and then like a hatching brush and I put them all together and I put them in a set and I'm selling them on my website for one dollar buck because it's my first it's my first set and I'm it's it's new, so it's like it's like a it's like a version one point or whatever. Um so um uh yeah, I I I made this brush set, I put it up online, I've sold like a handful. Um, but I understand why, because it's not it's not a fancy brush, it doesn't like make flowers or glow or anything it's just it's very utilitarian for a very 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 specific audience um but it was cool it was fun to put together and i'm working on another set for lettering um and it's probably going to be like four or five of them and it's again probably going to be really cheap for now i mean that doesn't mean i won't raise the prices later that's but. right, friends. So if you <laughs> act now, you too can draw just like Jamie Noguchi. Now I know what you're thinking, but Brandon, I can't just randomly draw like Jamie Noguchi. You're right. But you can take the first step in the right direction by using the same exact tools <laughs> that Jamie Noguchi uses. Now, don't wait. Buy now. But guess what? If you decide to buy the brushes, if you decide to draw something with those brushes and share those with Jamie Noguchi, there's a good chance not only is he going to follow you on social media, he (laughs) might actually interact with you. And hell, he might just share your stuff and give you the moral support that you've been looking for. (laughs) Deadbeat dad, Jamie Noguchi. Mom walked out, Jamie Noguchi. Little brothers haunting the house, Jamie Noguchi. That's right. You too can draw just like the angry Zen master himself. Go ahead and hop on to monstercutie.com. Go ahead and hit that. Buy yourself a big kahuna bot uh, desk, desk mat. So this way you can sit your your, your iPad down and, and have the inspiration that is Jamie Noguchi while you draw 
on the subsequent iPad with a disappointing Apple Pencil with the absolutely terrible tips, but most importantly, <laughs> using the great brushes. And then dream, dream the impossible dream of what sort of things you'll be able to letter once Jamie Noguchi comes out with his magical lettering set. That's right. So you can just go ahead and follow Jamie Noguchi on in any th sort of thing. If you type in Jamie Noguchi into a Google machine near you, you'll be able to find him, his thoughts, his wares, his ideas, and more importantly, his brushes that then can be your brushes. Bring a little Noguchi home with you today. I gotta get you to do like <laughs> shitty ads for me. And stuff. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Um, yeah, D yeah. I, I think I just need to like, I'll draw a line, but it won't yeah. look right. And I'll just be like, damn it. <laughs> there has to be a better way. <laughs> well, you just walk in and you're like, Brandon, have you considered doing this? <laughs> it was so easy. That's, that's the other thing I decided that I needed to do this year is to like put more effort into advertising. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to either reblog a post that I've already made or just yep. come up with a new one. Like today is Tuesday. We record on Tuesday. I have no idea. This is either going up Friday or Saturday or Thursday. That, whatever, whatever this goes. Fine. Up. Yeah, um, yeah. But I, I today I posted uh like a, a typing test of of uh like a keyboard and then I was like, no 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 no. It sounds better with a giant robot. So I put down the giant robot. And every time my thumb hit the space bar, I had a Gundam sound of the Gundam like walking yeah, and stuff. Right. Uh, but it it forced you then to look at the desk mat. And honestly, like even as, as corny as this sounds completely unprompted, I saw it and I was like, fuck, I didn't know. And then I paused it and went, no, you knew Jamie made this. You just didn't pull the trigger then. And you need to fucking pull the trigger now. <laughs> so it's, it's working. Uh, yeah. I know I shared it by the way. If any of you want to do something kind for Jamie, that will cost you literally $0 fucking <laughs> share these ads and go and support the man. Jesus, how much fucking free entertainment and <laughs> tips and tutorials and fucking great art has he given you over the years? You greedy some bitches. Well, Give back. Well, that's, please. that's the other thing. Like I never talk about any of the, any of the stuff that I make. And I realized you fucking should. Well, I realized that like the only way you, you buy stuff is if you see it for like a thousand times and on the yeah. thousand, the, a, a thousand and one that's when you click oh yeah i remember that thing i should i should buy i it. should buy that right and, yeah it, so uh, you know i'm part of me doesn't want to be like that all I, that's all i talk about but the other part of me is like who fucking cares that's not right this is the thing is anyone who genuinely cares about you knows that that's not all you talk about anyone who follows you knows that's not going to be all you talk about, but also everyone who knows you and follows you knows that you're on your own grind and is not going to begrudge you for trying to fucking make a dime yeah. and pay a bill. Like, fuck, we all got bills to pay. Yeah. The idea is if we got a little bit of disposable income, hopefully you spend it making yourself feel a little better. And if that happens to be by financially encouraging somebody who's fucking getting that hustle, goddamn, maybe a little less money to Amazon and a little <laughs> more money to fucking Jamie to Gucci. If you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to just try to do more of that stuff. Like I, I thought about it and a bunch of the artists that I follow, like um, Miss Monster every week, she, she has a new drop on Friday and it's these, these beautiful masks, like these, yeah awesome masks i love them and she's and i don't begrudge her for promoting no, her work you you share all. half of her shit yeah like most of the time i'm like that's dope i can't afford it right now but right. someone's gonna love this right yes um and so i was like i should just do it, <laughs> it the, honestly jamie the fact that I don't follow them, but I know exactly what you're talking about because I've seen you share it a bunch. Yeah. Which means when I'm looking for something like that for a gift for somebody or whatever it is, I'm going to know where to go find it. Yeah. That's that's how that shit should work. We got to beat the fucking algorithm, kids. Yeah. Like, yeah. greedy fuckers are trying to screw all of us over. At least we can try and do is be kind to each other. Yeah, That that's that's also what I figured. I was like, well, I'm seeing nothing but ads for stiff stuff I don't want. Maybe if I flood the zone with stuff people might want that could be if, right if you put the effort forward and 
Yesterday, only five people knew about it, and today it's 15. Maybe tomorrow it'll be 17. It's not going to be like it used to be, where it's going to grow like a fucking weed. Yeah. But if you can keep up with it, maybe some people will share, will share some, some shit, and they'll they'll buy the thing, and then they'll tell their friends about it, and and then they'll tell two friends. And they'll tell, they'll and tell two friends, friends yeah, and so, so on. So that's my, if I was to make a resolution for anything, I think this year I'm just going to, stop giving a shit and just yeah. promote, promote more stuff because yeah. um if you don't tell people you made the thing they're not gonna know so nope um all right brandon uh where can people find you you can find me on instagram at that guy chalmers jamie noguchi i know i've said it before and god damn it <laughs> i'll say it again other than twitter TikTok, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, from time to time. Just find Google machines, monstercutie.com. Wikipedia. Wikipedia, Time <laughs> magazines, classic historic issues. Where can they find you, good sir? Uh, you can find me wherever finer podcasts are sold. Ooh. <laughs> uh, my YouTube channel, Draw Jam. Uh, yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, fucking put on the Draw Jam videos and give Jamie a bunch of views. He's trying to get a bunch of views this year. And also, one more time, a reminder, check out Hard Knock Media for all of the other rad podcasts on the network. Yeah. There are a ton of great fucking minds on this podcast network that share a ton of cool shit. And you should go and support them and check out what they're doing. And, and just because they're fucking just real good. It, they're just a bunch of good people here <laughs> and really are not me. And like, you should really like, honestly, if you're willing to tolerate me, fucking look mm-hmm. around the rest of the podcast. It's just it's fucking ladders from here. Just <laughs> tears, just way above me. Oh, they're yeah. slumming it, dragging me along, honestly. All right. Um. Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. Fuck yeah. Be excellent to each other, motherfuckers, or I'm going to come find you. Seriously.